Hey guys, uh, just having a look here. So, uh, B uh, Bitcoin did crash. Started to crash. It started to top out. It looks like. Uh, so, this was started two days ago, I think. Uh, where are we? So started started on Sunday. What day is it today? It's Tuesday. Yeah. So it started two days ago. Uh, so about Saturday or Sunday at lunchtime, it topped out as we talked about in the last video. I showed you the exact point on the 15 with that divergence. Uh, then it just started to crash, like it started to huge, huge, huge crash. I'll go on the five to show it. It just started to massively dump, like it was. I was watching it too when it started. It just like. It had a one it had one second of like the volume. Literally one second, Bitcoin moved five hundred points. In one second, literally one second, it flashed five hundred points. And at that point I was like, yo, this it's starting now, right? Like you're gonna see the show now. Like it, it literally went from uh there was a huge candle. I think it was here, right here. At four, just before open, there was like one. This went from like 500 points in like one second. Uh, I think it was this one right here. It went from 61,000. No, not this one. Maybe it was this one. 60. One of these. I think it was one of these. I don't don't think it was one of these because I was at top at lunch Saturday. Today's the day of the 16th. Uh, might have been that one. I don't think it was that one. But there was a, there was like, it started, it was like five, it was like one second it moved down 500 points. And that's when like the real crash started. So that's the spike right there when it went to all time highs. Then there was a divergence that we talked about. The divergence in negative infinity. And then it just started to, I think maybe that was even the spike right there. Where it just moved down 500 points and then it continued down. It was like a thousand. There was a huge drop. Like it went from, yeah, I think there was like a thousand. Which one's that? That's 57,483. 255. Yeah, there was like, eh, it started to drop like a couple thousand within a few minutes. So then it's, it had a, it had about three or four, I think about three or four big dumps. And we went down all the way to uh, like 52, 53, 52 something, maybe 53, 52, 50, so almost 52, like high 52s. Uh, it's starting to dump again. This is when it started again, like around open. A little bit after that, a little bit before it started to dump. So as of right now, so we did go from 61 or 62, 61 something to 52 in the last few days. So it sold off quite a lot. Uh, it, as if you haven't watched the other videos, it is expected because supports all the way down here on the monthly. You can see it's like way down here. Uh, there is like divergence here, bearish divergence. These are all green. They haven't even crossed over. So could there be a red month on the horizon? Next couple months, yes, I believe so. Once this one of the once this or the next one of the next candles goes red, it's just gonna start to dump. Because when that candle goes red, that's when a lot of monthly algos go off. So that's when the dumping starts. But where is weekly support again? If you haven't watched it, so we broke that 57 support, right? We so that as you can see, I'll just draw it out. So. Where support, support was like right there. Support one on the weekly, we're now on the weekly chart. Do I have to click this twice? Okay, then I, then where's the next support now? Next support's down there. So we look, looks like we got a clear break there. Cause not this week, but last week, this was all, this was crossed over, this was touching at one point, like it really wanted to crossover and you can see the just again the divergence here
it's really, really strong, the various divergence. And all these are negative infinity, negative infinity, right? Look at the volume. Look at that. So you can see there is a big sell-off here starting. So we could definitely see this drop down to 38,000 area before we see some momentum. There probably might be a buyback up here to form a proper top. Like, I guess if you're talking, I don't trade patterns, but if you know patterns, it's kind of like bounced up here. It's going to like test that resistance and come back down. So you can, that's just from a weekly. I'll just go to the daily. So just to show you, so there's that divergence, right? Up, price moves up. Momentum moves down, momentum moves down, momentum moves down. Come above that EMA 9, that center line. If you have other EMAs too, like EMA 2 is good. EMA 5, so all, as close as you can get if there was like a 1.1, but it, it won't give me that. So you have to like create that manually if you want it. But for like day trading, that can be really good. Oh yeah, so we are starting to see a dump here. Let's just catch it in action. Oh yeah, we're starting to dump here. Moved about 300 points in a couple minutes, so 400 points. A couple minutes, so it's starting to dump. We might be in for a show again today. So just uh, keep your eye on it. Do not buy here. I'm telling you, do not buy here. Do not. Absolutely do not buy here. You'll probably get, get dumped on. Like, as I said, this is going straight to 38 right now. That's where we'll probably get some up momentum for a little day trade, but or we could just break through depending how strong it is. But most likely we'll probably hold here for now. Come up here a little bit and then we'll probably continue down. But it could it could take a while, like it could take the next, you know, three weeks, right? Because these are weekly candles. But we'll just go back to the day. Uh, so here's that support line that we broke at 57. It's going straight down. Look, we got room way down here now. We're going to go way down here to test that so that's going to be tested that's the daily momentum there we got the RSI default uh, it's going down room for that to get oversold of course because it's only at uh, 57 what number is that it's around 60 I guess 57 58 60 area right give or take oh yeah that's starting to drop now oh there it goes 55, 7, 6, 8. So the number to break is uh, for the last dump to break. We're looking to break about 52, 53, and then we got a free fall. So I'll just point that out here. Uh, let's just say 53, 53. Wait, is that the actual low? Yeah, so 53, 52, high 52s. Once we break that, we got free fall on happening. So we got a free fall, dumps will get triggered, shorts will put, be put on fast, whales will dump, banks, crypto, I mean, uh, financial institutions will dump, probably see the central banks might dump it, right? We got the Fed meeting tomorrow, so keep your eye on that for the U.S. dollar. Uh, Janet Yellen, probably going to dump, press her button, this thing's going to go down, so be careful, don't buy here, wait, oh, we got some, uh, bearish momentum on the faster MACD we got this shorter uh, indicators crossing over from overbought to oversold we got RSI about neutral so definitely got room for this for our RSI to come down and remember it's also bearish once you cross down there too until we cross up for a while we might get a breather but right now just to be clear neutral once it we want to look for across a neutral to the downside, right? Or across from 70 to 69, and then across from 30 to 29. Those are all bearish uh, indicators. So this has room to go on the four hour. It was interesting to watch the dump because I haven't seen a dump since last September when it like the actual flash crash when it dropped like. When it dropped like 6k in one, like 4 to 6k in like one second, that was pretty cool. But usually when that happens, it get bought, it gets bought up quickly, right? And then it goes up for a while. So this is different. This is like kind of more like a textbook sell-off. 
like it's like coming up here it started here I think so it came, comes down and it just keeps coming up over that center line right over that EMA non and then just wants to continue down up down crosses right up wants to continue down crosses up gets sold off crosses up gets sold off exactly what we were talking about on the higher time frames right T touches these upper bounds we get a break here right above that center line above that EMA 9 we get a run high volatility right upper bounds what do you think is going to happen it wants to come back down it wants to come back down to test support and see where we can go from there so same thing here comes up gets sold off to EMA 9 Volatility is, fading, volatility is fading away. Sell-offs coming in. Touches that upper bounds. Sells off to the MA9. Comes up. Where do you think we're going? See that EMA9 is right at 47. We got that center line right at support. Right, That's interesting, right? That that center line is right at support. Like It's literally right there. How close can you get? For indicators of where this is going so daily still has room to get back beneath that center line like we did here beneath up beneath gonna come test support right we got some oh yeah I forgot about this so we got the default MACD on the daily crossing down and we could definitely see a lot of negative uh, bearish to negative infinity we got a lot could see a lot of red days here if this really wants to go it could look like something like this right or even worse like this down that so that something here is starting look that wants to cross over we got the fed meeting tomorrow so just keep an eye on it uh watch the 15 if you want if you got some time but yeah it looks like it is starting to dump again so yeah uh sighting stuff so i'll see you guys next time take care